in python string means sequence of characters so let us define that what are the different ways to define a string in python so this is a way number one that means here this welcome has been enclosed within single quotes so if we go on printing this my str1 i'm getting this welcome here here welcome is enclosed within double quotes here welcome is enclosed within triple single quotes so in this way we are getting this welcome got printed now here we're having this triple single uh, triple double quote rather also you can use as triple single quote so that is not an issue so print my str3 it will go on printing that is welcome to the world of python programming so triple quotes string can extend multiple lines so in in place of this single uh, double quote if we can put the single triple quote here then what will be the outcome are you going to ch get any change in the outcome in that case so let me go for execution i'm finding that i'm getting the same output as i got earlier so accessing characters in a string so here my str is equal to language and then i printed this my str here so language has got printed and then i'm retrieving the character at the zeroth index so i shall retrieve this l so l has got printed now minus one that means from the last from the back where this this particular e is having the index minus one and from the front this e will have the index that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so if we if we print here 7 if we just uh, i'm just printing here once again so you can find that so in the both cases in the both cases i shall be getting this e has got printed as 7 or minus 1 so minus 1 means the the there is a starting uh, character index from the from the back from the tail of the string so next one is 1 to 5 that means index number 1 2 3 and 4 because 5 will be always exclusive the stopping in index number will be always exclusive so 1 2 5 means 1 2 3 4 so here we are, we are mentioning this this 1 and 5 they have got separated by this colon so that is my 0 so 0 I'm not going to take so there is a uh, character at the position index 1 so 1 2 3 4 so I've taken this a n g u and you see we're getting this output like this so now here we're having this 4 colon minus 2 sorry 5 colon minus 2 so there is a 5 here so I'm going to take this one as 0 1 2 3 4 5 so that means we're having this one as 5 here so now we're having this one as minus 2 so that is minus 1 minus 2 you know that will be will be uh, taking this stopping index as exclusive so I'll be remaining with this a only so a has got printed so that means 5 colon minus 2 means from the fifth character and to the minus 3 character so minus 3 means this is my minus 1 this is the minus 2 and this is the minus 3 so that's why that's why a has got printed so but if I make this one as 4 if I make this one as 4 then obviously we're getting the output like this so that is u a in that case now here you see this 10 the index 10 is not present here because this language is having uh, we are having say eight characters so index will be ranging from 0 to 7 so 10 index is not a valid one so if I uh, want to access the tenth character so character at the tenth index so we are getting this index error so string index out of range so that is the error message we are getting here okay now we're going for this so here we have defined this uh, language so strings are immutable that means they cannot be changed but the str different strings can be assigned to the string object so if we print this my str i'm getting this language but if you if you want to update if you want to put another new string to this my str in the same variable that is allowed but if you want to update the third character of the string that is not allowed as it is immutable so there is a type error and str object does not support item item assignment so that is the there is the error message we are getting and there is the error name is type error next one we are going for the concatenation of the string and that can be done using plus so my str1 and my str2 containing welcome and one blank space and then two all so now when they are going for the concatenation i'm getting the out outcome this one so welcome to all this blank space is essential because otherwise this welcome and two will not have any separation so they will get concatenated side by side so now here we are having this that is my my str star 3 so what will happen the my str star 3 so what will happen this particular my str will be occurring for 
minus trade 1 will be occurring for 3 times. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, in this way, we are going to get the required formed string. So, we can do the string con concatenation either using star or using the plus operators. Now, we are going, we are going to discuss. So, plus and star both I have discussed. Now, iter iterating through a string here. So, letter count is equal to 0. So, for letters in hello world, if the letter is, is equal to is equal to L, so now letter count is plus equal to 1. So, what will happen? So, I shall go on counting the number of occurrences of L, this very, very character. So, that is why each and every time the for loop, for loop will pick up one character at a time and that will be put in the letters. So, if letters is equal to is equal to L, then letter count will be increased by 1. And after exiting from the indentation, you are getting this idea that this print is outside of the for loop. So, letter count will be printed accordingly. So, if you go on executing, I am getting that three times L letter has been found here. Now, we are going for the string membership. So, L in hello, so L in hello will return true. L not in hello will return false. B in hello will return false. B not in hello will return true here. Built-in functions, built-in functions. So, we are having this university and then we shall go for the enumerate so, least enumerate my S tier. So, what will happen? It will go on uh, forming this enumeration. So, at first it will put the respective uh, the respective index and then we are having the respective character here. So, in this way we are having this index 0 u, index 1 n. In this way we are having this index 9 y because university is having 10 characters. So, index will be ranging from 0 to 9 and in this way you are getting it. So, here you see we, we are forming a list we are forming a list because we are just converting it to a list and then the members are nothing but the tuples. The members are nothing but the tuples because they have got separated by commas and they have got enclosed within fast brackets. So, they are the simple simple tuples and list of tuples we are getting here and len of my tier will be 10 accordingly and here we have used the method that is the enumerate. Now, we shall deal with this single quote and double quote. So, what we, what we shall do that let us suppose I am going to print this one. So, when I am going to print this one, it is producing one error. Why error? Because there is a double quote, there is one double quote. So, it will take this double quote at the terminating as a terminating double quote. So, that is why it is causing error here. And also this what you see, it is telling that invalid syntax because the quotes are not matching. So, quotes are not balanced. So, to write the uh, statement here, to write this string getting printed on the output, we can go for this. So, what we are doing, we are enclosing it within triple single quotes and this particular string is still within double quotes. So, now you see we are getting the outcome like this. Otherwise, we can enclose the main string within single quotes and put putting this one as the double quotes and here this particular uh, single quote is there and we are going for the escape character. So, that is a slash single quote and which will be known as the escape quotes, the escape single quotes. So, whenever we are going to print, it will print the respective only this single quote here. So, now we are having this escaping single quote. So, now we are enclosing, we are doing the reverse actually. Here we have put this single quote as the outer one and double quotes as the, as the inner one. But if you go for the double quotes as the outer one and single quotes as the inner one, then obviously this single quotes will get printed here. Otherwise, we can go for this. That means we can uh, escaping double quotes. That means we are going for this slash double quote. So here this double quote will be treated as a cat character, not the beginning of the, of the ending of a string. So that's why we are going for the escaping double quotes. So so, when the string will get printed, so slash double quote will be printed as only a single a double quote and slash double quote will be printed as only a single as a single double quote and here we are having this um, single quote is there, so that will not cause any problem. So, in this way, the string can be printed in varieties of ways. So, either using triple uh, uh, quotes or using escaping the single quotes escaping the single quotes once again and then escaping the double quotes once again. Next we are going for this. So, here you see uh, there is a, a print I want to make it printed. So, whenever we are having double slash it will print as single slash here. You can find we are printing this one as a single slash. But actually in the string we are having the double slash. 
so print this is uh, having a new line that is a slash n so what will happen it will go to the next line we're having this slash t that is a tab so that is a uh, separated is there for eight characters and then we can also write in this way that is slash x 41 so f 41 will be treated as in hexadecimal so what is the decimal value against this 41 so 4 into 6 into the power of 1 that is 64 plus 1 into 6 into the power of 0 that is 1 so 64 plus 1 that is 65 which character is having this ASCII code 65 that is our capital A so it is similarly we are having this capital B similarly we are having this capital C so this ABC will be there so in this way you can also print the respective string we are having this format so default order is equal to so now here you see these other different uh, uh, placeholders we are having dot format so 2D will be coming to this is will be coming to this and Sunday will be coming to this placeholder so here we are having this default order if you go on printing I'm getting the output like this one so today is and Sunday so we are getting this today is and Sunday so today is coming to this is is coming to this so they are maintaining the order there is a default implicit order and here we are using this format method so order using positional argument so here this is my uh, argument number 0 argument number 1 argument number Two. so the positional arguments the numbering will be something like this so here mentioning the argument positional number here so that is the so one means today will be coming down so zero means is will be coming down here and Sunday will be coming down to this particular placeholder during the output so you can find that today is and Sunday so ordered using keyword argument so here you can mention this one i as is equal to is t as is equal to today and s is equal to sunday so here you are mentioning the respective uh, keyword arguments there so that is t i s and we are getting the output count output like this one so that is another way to print our string formatting numbers so here you see we are having this format 20 so 20 is only one argument is there so it is the argument position number is 0 so we are printing here 0 and here we are printing 0 but in the binary format so what will be the outcome in that case so 20 will be printed along with this 20 in the binary form that is 16 plus 4 and that is our 20 so now we are having this fl uh, formatting floats we can go for this formatting so now we are having this 0 that means this particular number is going to get printed and that will be printed in this exponentiation format and now we are having this 1 by 3 and we are going to print this one there is a positional argument number 0 and then colon there is a decimal point 3 f so after the decimal point we'll be going to have about three decimal digits we're having this particular strings and we're having the string methods there is a lower upper find and we're having replace so in case of low, lower all the string characters will be converted to the lower case in case of upper all the string characters will be converted to the upper case irrespective of the initial case here so find 2 so this 2 will be found at the 13th uh, index so let me go on counting here so that is about 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and from the 13th index this 2 is beginning so that's why I'm getting here 13 but if you go on searching this 2 all this T and O in the lower case you, are, you may not get a match because it is a case sensitive uh, find so as a result of that it will give me the outcome as minus 1 means unsuccessful searching so replace all by everybody and replace all by everybody now here you see the, the if you consider the case sensitivities you are, you are getting a match so all will be replaced by everybody but here this all is written all in lower case so ALL so everybody cannot replace it so because there is not a no match has been observed using this replace method so in this way we have discussed that how to operate with the string and what are the different string methods and operations can be carried out in this session thanks for watching this video